last season, um, you guys thrived, obviously, with, with two rushes. They were getting a lot of production. Where do you think you guys are in pursuit of having a similar setup this year with two guys that you... Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about the guys. You know, obviously, Will is Will is kind of turned into a monster right now. He's he's rushing at a high level. He's got speed. He's, he's kind of taking a leadership role in the room. And then we've added the guy Jaira, um, Jaira, CJ, and Sheeta. And I think what's fun is they all provide something different. Um, you know, so when the tackles get going, it'll all be it'll all be something different that they'll have to stop. And, and they've they've done a good job so far in camp. Looked like you know, CJ getting the red jersey on today actually was progress, right? Like, what do you, where is he? Oh, he's fine. Yeah, he's fine. He'll probably be out there tomorrow, um, if not if not the next day. Just trying to keep him engaged, locked in, and. and you know, going through, getting mental reps every time, every time you can. As far as pass coverage goes, how comfortable are you with those guys going out and covering somebody? I think, I think they've done that at a really high level uh, this camp. You know, I think route recognition has been huge. It's been an emphasis for us this camp, kind of trying to see what the uh, what the offenses are doing to us, especially in the back end, and and um, you know, just breaking on the football, being as disruptive as we can. When we got six six and six five dropping in these zones, they got long arms and it's it, it can be disruptive for these quarterbacks. Does it surprise you that Jaro was at a Division three school before he came here? Yeah, it, it, honestly it really does. I just think he's developed. Um, from where he was first day of spring ball to now, it's almost like a different guy. So that's credit to him, him his work ethic, Coach Rowe getting him right in the weight room and he just had a, he just, he just came out to camp with a new mindset and it's been, it's been really fun to watch. You, uh, you go Will a monster yesterday. Uh, Kevin called him the Terminator. I think. What is he doing that is making that kind of an impact in practice? He's just disruptive, man. I mean, he's 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 really smart. So so he's going to pick up on little cues that the offense gives him. Um, he can rush with speed. He can rush with power, and and he just knows where to be. He just seems to be in the right spot at the right time, and that's credit to him and and how he attacks the game from the mental side. Um, Guys like that are fun to coach. Is there a mindset that he has to sort of adopt now that he's going to be maybe the primary guy that those teams are worried about? Uh, I, I think so, but there's you know there's no pressure. I think I think I think he realizes what what he has to do and what he wants to do, and you know I I just encourage him, man, to, to go out play his game and do the best that he can. And I think I think the the numbers at that point will speak for themselves. What progress have you seen from Sheeta since the spring? Just comfortable in the defense, um, playing on two feet consistently, pass rush ability, and the thing the thing that Sheeta has is he can really run. Like he's 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 probably out of the group. He's probably the twitchiest off the ball. Um, really good speed to power, and he can he can he can really he can really run, which helps. Trevor oh. Payne said yesterday he uh, you know you lose Nick obviously. Uh, KJ moves to the middle. That's 17 and a half sacks that aren't on, on the edge anymore, but he said we can replicate those numbers just with depth. Do you kind of see that way? Yeah, I think so. Um, and I, I, I don't tell them, I don't think I don't think you can compare last year to this year. If we go out and do what we're supposed to do, rush at a high level, the numbers will come. And and the rush complemented with the coverage, I think is gonna is gonna help these guys quite a bit. What, what was CJ doing before he got a little banged up that was impressive really? Yeah. C CJ is, he may not look it, but he's about 270 pounds and runs around like an inside linebacker. Um, so he's physical, he's big, he can play in space. He's, he's been a pleasant surprise and he's a natural leader. So, so if, if there's any lull um, amongst the defense, even though he's a young guy, he's, he's not scared to speak up and he holds himself to that standard as well. How often do you still think we'll see KJ with his hand on the ground rushing the passer? Hand on the ground rushing? I don't know if that'll happen as much, but he'll definitely rush the passer. He'll be in different spots. Um, I think that's something cool about our defense is we can kind of isolate speed on slow guys and power on light guys, whatever it may be. Um, but we'll be able to isolate him, and we'll definitely see him getting after the quarterback. Do you, you think you'll get anything out of Calvin Smith this year? I think so. I think so. I think. Uh, he has, from practice one to now, he has really improved. Just learning the defense, playing with more confidence, playing physical. He's got freaky long arms, and he's one of those he's one of those guys that's probably more athletic than he should be for his size. And and the thing that he is is he's he's learning both the field spot and the boundary spot. So he's gonna be he's gonna be very valuable to us um, as we as we progress through the season. I know you probably focus on your, your position group the most, but are you seeing things from KJ that indicate that he's 
doing what he needs to do to make that transition. Yeah, you know, I think the thing with KJ, man, is he is he is so instinctual as a player. He's he makes he makes the easy play, but he also makes the play that he shouldn't make. We'll go up and watch film after practice, and he'll be he'll be he'll be somewhere that he you wouldn't think he's going to make the play, and then by the end of it, he's making making a tackle for a two yard gain. Like he does he does things on film that are that are pretty fun to watch. And he's kind of like an eraser back there, which I, I tell my guys, like, if we can if we can do our job consistently, that guy's going to run sideline to sideline and, and eliminate mistakes. Good.